G'day mate and welcome to a slightly different sort of video. So I'm going to hopefully explain throughout the, the course of this video how do you can hack a mod from version 17 to version 18. Now 18 has been out less than a week. A lot of mod authors are in the process of updating their mods. We're waiting for the first available weekend where they've got a little bit more free time to do their updates. Um, in saying that there are always going to be some mods where people are either away at the time so they're not going to be updated for a couple of weeks or people have stopped playing Factorio, they've abandoned their mods, they don't have time or they don't have interest anymore and there is always a chance that your mod will not be updated. So I'm going to hopefully take you through how to update a mod from 17 to 18. First thing I need to do is I need to open Factorio um, just to demonstrate we're using the mod the Dead the Dead Burn which is made by Uthorm. Um, he's actually one of my Discord Discord followers, whatever you want to call it. Um, he uh, actually upgraded this from 16 to 17 for me for my Bite of Hell series. So, and as we can see, it is already updated. It has already been officially updated to 18. But I asked his permission. He was more than happy for me to use his mod as a demonstration tool to show you guys how to hack a mod up to the next version. So first off, we need to take the zip folder and we need to extract it so we can work with it. And we're just gonna extract it right here because it's where we need it. And once we've got that, we need to open up, we need to use our high quality text editor to fix the files that need fixing. Now, I am gonna say right off the bat that there is a chance that this will not work. And I accept zero responsibility. Like I, I am showing a very quick, dirty way to upgrade mods it might work it might not so we need to open the info.json folder um we need to change factorio version 17 to version 18 obviously okay that's the very first thing we need to do well then we need to save that okay next thing we need to do is we need to look through the other folders um for basically a document that's not well an item that's not a picture um, that we that has code in it. So this is the actual config of, you know, what these are called and what they do. We don't care about that. It's normally going to be your proto prototypes folder, um, maybe a technology folder as well. But under prototypes, we're going to find this one. This is the magic one we're looking for. We're looking for icon icon underscore size equals thirty two, reading off a base graphic. So in here we're actually the mod is calling to look for the base graphic of graphics icons medium biter corpse and currently because that's a factorio graphic factorio updated the graphic size from being 32 by 32 pixels to being 64 by 64 pixels this is the second major change that most mods will need um they're all going to need the first one changing version 17 to 18 but this is the second most common change that most mods are actually using because they're using some sort of um some sort of graphic already from the base game then you're gonna have to come in here and you're gonna have to change this one as well so again file save and then once we've done that we should be able to go back to here open the bin folder and run factorio now i've got an error here and out of the way <sighs> out of the way so we're gonna go into our mods folder and we can see that it is case sensitive. So the dead will burn version 17 0.18 does not match dead will burn underscore 17 underscore uh, 0.18. So obviously that's a mistake I need to fix. We're gonna update that. We're gonna click the okay button and then we're gonna go back to here and reopen Factorio. And it should open. It should boot. Excellent. That's the last 5%. Yeah. Okay. And then in mods, we'll see the dead will burn. It is version 18. It requires version fact, uh, Factorio version 18. And dependencies are base version of 18. So we're good to go there. We're going to continue our test map. And the next thing we need to do is this causes... Ignore this. This is a debug menu I've been playing with. Um, the next thing it does is it causes biters to have a chance to drop biter guts, uh, like that one. Okay, go away, go away, go away, go away. 
it's dropping these very 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 large items on the ground because the graphic got doubled in size and we haven't actually set up some other parts of code that are in that are new in version uh, 18 it means that these are very very large and very very unsightly but we don't care because the mod works so i can now pick up these items which is one of the features of this mod come on go away and we can see these are big red ones because these are medium monster bodies. Turns out spawners drop medium monster bodies, whereas all the other ones were small monster bodies. And we're good to go. We've got a working mod. So that is it for the video. It's really quick. It's really easy to update your mods. Like I said, no guarantees whether it will work or not. Um, at the same time, I do highly recommend you look at your factor or you look at the mod that you're updating and check the licensing because you may not be allowed to actually update a mod depending on its licensing um i actually honestly have no idea whether the licensing for the dead will or the dead burn um allows me to do this but i have asked you thorn's permission he said okay so that's good enough for me but yeah, you need to look at the permissions um, for the different mods. So, actually, let's... I have a one on the screen right now. So, in here, you can look at the licensing. And this will tell you exactly what sort of license to. You're free to share, copy, redistribute material in, in, in any format. And you're free to adapt, mix, trans, uh, mix, transform, and build upon the material. So, when it comes to Factory Extended Plus Machines, yes, I would be able to do this. And I would be even able to publish it to the mod portal. So there are some mods where you can update them yourself, but then you're not allowed to publish them. There are other ones where you can update them um, and even publish them back to the mod portal as an updated version. Then you can call yourself a mod creator. Anyway, with that said, I'm out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.